Yeah. yeah, and so that's where the science spirituality thing gets kind of you know bollocked up again too. Um, you know, is there a god? Are there spiritual realities? Or are there non corporeal intelligences that we can interact with who can teach us? Um, and who were those little insects? Yeah, like, yeah. Talking to your subject, yeah, you know? yeah. Are those spiritual you know forces that are just clothed in a form that the volunteers? could see or are they just some center in the brain being dinged and generating those like some uh, you know film being projected um, yeah I, 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 I think we need to, to, to keep an open mind um, I don't think we should um, close anything off prematurely uh, I, you know we're kind of an unusual culture in as much as we don't think of spiritual realms as as being freestanding, uh, independent kinds of realities. Um, and even so, it's just a small segment of our culture that believes that way. It's the scientific materialistic worldview. And even, you know, you ask a lot of those scientists about their personal beliefs, and they believe in a spiritual realm, and they believe in God. But they've um, somehow, well, they've lost the mind for the brain. Uh, you know, they... Um, yeah, it's, it's just hard for them to conceive of studying something that's immaterial. Although they're doing that a lot in cosmology and, and in you know, physics nowadays. So, But, I mean, even if they prove, let's say, the existence of God, or they prove the existence of angels uh, through some you know, camera that can take a picture of God or of, of an angel, um, you know, there's still the question of what do we do with that information and, you know, how do we live our lives in a better way than we are right now? Uh, is it being clever or is it being helpful, uh, you know? Yeah, so, how do you integrate this material? Yeah, and, and I, th I think that we can't do it just from scratch. Uh, you know, there are, you know, sacred books out there that have remained current for 5,000 years, 10,000 years to 3,000 years. You know, so it, it isn't like science is discovering new ways of ethically relating to each other. Um, Starting from zero. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, um, we have guidelines. And, uh, you know, it seems to me instead of our generation going to the jungle and becoming shamans or going to Tibet or India and becoming Buddhists or becoming Hindus, um, we have the tradition right under our knows uh, with our own heritage. Um, it's just that we've been kind of ruined by the clergy in a lot of ways to believe all these weird things that really aren't in the basic scriptural you know, texts. It if you look, interpreted. it gets interpreted and then imposed you know, for, uh, for, uh, for political reasons.